Hey guys, welcome to my first training talk Tuesday. Just a quick warning, if you are not a runner, uh, you will probably not like this video. So uh, just skip it, stop watching here, wait for tomorrow's vlog, okay? Tuesday. Take a seat. Let's have a training talk. Good afternoon and welcome to a beautiful day in Dallas. It's freezing still, 30 degrees, but the sun's out, so. Okay, runners. Okay, so today is a easy recovery run. Yesterday I ran about nine miles and change. A little quicker than I planned on. 655 pace but honestly that's totally okay some days you feel good and you should go for it don't don't feel guilty about it or anything um, unless you have like a race the next day or something crazy um, but with that so yesterday I went a little harder than I expected especially only being a week or two weeks out from the marathon so today going super 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 easy I might go for probably go for an hour but I'm not gonna go fast. Nice, easy, conversational pace. And I'm gonna go to a park that's nearby. It's all grass, it'll be a little softer, easier on the joints. Okay, so I'm here at this awesome park. All this grass is beautiful and it's soft and it's gonna feel really good for my feet and my knees and all that good stuff. Uh, but today's a recovery day. I love recovery days. My goal on a recovery day is to chill, listen to music, not worry about my pace, just focus on going nice and slow, feeling good. I should finish the run not feeling tired at all. Um, the purpose of a recovery run is to let your body recover from the previous day or previous day's uh, workout. So I'm a 252 marathoner and my pace today might be an eight or nine minute mile. To me, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. I'm just chilling. Some keys I've heard over the years from coaches and other athletes um, recovery days are important because you need to let your body absorb the training you're doing. Um, for me, I always think of it as you get faster when you're sleeping uh, than when you're actually running. Because running is an exercise and you're actually breaking down muscle and stuff and you have to let it recover. So you sleep, you recover. So when you're doing your recovery run, obviously you're not sleeping, but you're getting more oxygenated blood to those muscles that may have been damaged before. So recovery runs are extremely important. If you go at it one day, uh, make sure you take the next day or the next few days to recover and chill. Remember with running, the name of the game is hard, easy, hard, easy. Workout, recovery, workout, recovery. One last thing to talk about. So everyone's gonna have a running schedule, right? For your race or your training plan. Um, a lot of times it's gonna have a specific workout on a specific day. And I know that feeling uh, when you've got a big, awesome workout coming up. feel like crap um, so go ahead and do the workout I guess but on a normal training day um, let's say I had a workout tomorrow and you know I'm recovering today and I have a workout tomorrow but tomorrow comes and I don't feel good um, I'm not gonna push it uh, some days you just don't feel like it. some days your body just uh, doesn't cooperate and that's totally okay so when I was younger So annoying, so cold out there, oh, stupid camera battery died again. Uh, I need to check and see what recorded. Sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, when I was younger, uh, one mistake I often made because I wanted to improve and I wanted to improve quickly 
is that I did not take easy, easy, easy days, and my recovery days often turned into little workouts. Um, and actually, I got injured a few times when I was younger. I had a few stress fractures. Remember, the name of the game is to make your easy days easy and your hard days hard. Now, if you're one of those people who has a hard time kind of bringing in the reins a little bit, you always, you always tend to pick it up even though you don't mean to, um, try to control the setting you put yourself in. So you saw the park I was just at, there was nobody there. There were some dogs, there were some people walking them, but it was very low key. And I didn't really have any external motivators that kind of pushed me to go quickly. So I wasn't running with like a group of people and I wasn't running by a bunch of like, mm, a bunch of active kind of areas that kind of pushed me to want to go quickly. So yesterday in my, in my quicker workout, I ran by an old neighborhood and I ran through my old running routes. So I felt nostalgic and then I started running faster and faster. Um, so if you're one of those people that has a hard time kind of controlling it, put yourself in a low key situation. That's just a little a tip of mine. Okay, so big three to focus on with your recovery days. Number one, before you do your run, frame it in your mind and think of the reason you're doing it. Why are you doing that recovery run? What is the purpose that it serves? It's to recover, not to run faster. Uh, number two, don't worry about your pace, don't worry about your speed, just focus on feeling relaxed, comfortable, you want an easy effort. Uh, we would say conversational pace. So if you're running with somebody, you could have a nice casual conversation. Number three is to set yourself up for success here. So if you're one of those people that tends to kind of get out of control with your runs, Maybe go to a more quiet environment. Maybe it means listening to different music instead of listening to super fast-paced rock or techno, bring it down to like talk radio or something. Like I like to listen to NPR sometimes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you could please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to produce these uh, every week. I think uh, we'll do training talk Tuesdays and food trip Fridays. So my goal with this training aspect of my channel is just to hopefully provide some inspiration and some guidance and uh, hopefully build a community of, uh, of avid runners on here. Um, I am not a professional runner. I'm not sponsored. Um, I did not run D1 in college. I was not a stellar, awesome high school recruit. My best 5K time in high school was like 19... 17 I think um, and now I'm a 252 marathoner and my next marathon goal is to go 239 because my last marathon was only my second and I think I can do better anyways fortunately I went to school for kinesiology exercise physiology at Penn State um, I took sports nutrition I took all these classes that have really helped me learn a ton about the sport and then I was kind of the experiment so I started running when I was 14 I'm 27 now I've put in over a decade of work and hopefully I can uh, I can share that with you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.